everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star, and today we're going to be taking a look at what sold on Poshmark and Macari in the month of June 2021. So I have selected the highlights from our Posh sales for the month to show you guys. Just some tried and true bread and butter items, a couple of bolo items for you guys to keep in mind when you're outsourcing, and... We had one sale on Macari. It's a little disappointing. Uh, long time viewers probably remember for a long time I did not like Macari. I did list on there, however, because I use list perfectly, which makes everything so simple to cross post. In fact, if you haven't tried list perfectly yet, you should. I have a code down there in my description box you can use when you sign up for List Perfectly to try your first month for 30% off. And then if you don't like it, you can cancel it, but I can almost guarantee you, you won't cancel it and you'll keep it. You can cross post so quickly to so many different platforms. It's amazing. I have a video uh, called Learn List Perfectly in Under Seven Minutes or something like that. I'll have it pop up at the end for you if you want to watch. It's a real-time screen share showing you guys how quick and easy List Perfectly is to cross-post on other platforms. And then you can try it 30% off for your first month. So long story short, I've always moved our plush over to Macari because List Perfectly made it easy, but I wasn't making a lot of sales. I kind of adjusted the way I was doing things on Macari at the beginning of the year, dropped some of our prices, and put free shipping on stuff, and then we're using Pirate Ship for our labels, and we started to pick up and get more sales. Well, then we started to have to get ready for our move to Florida, and we had to pack in earnest and really focus on the tasks that we had to do to get ready for the move, and of course... The first two platforms that saw less action were Macari and Poshmark. Those were the first two we stopped really cross-posting to before we kind of stopped even on eBay. If you saw our What Sold video earlier this week, I talked about that. Um, we're just packing and getting ready to move, so we're not listing. So, of course, our sales are down all over. Um, but it is a little disheartening because I really worked hard on our Macari and I had it up like five or six sales a month, which doesn't sound like a lot, but we used to only get one or two a year. So hopefully once we get to Florida and we get settled in and I can start grinding away and going back to my old routine, I can cross post a bunch of stuff using list perfectly and get our platforms awake again. But Poshmark's doing okay. Uh, you guys might know that you can now bulk share on Poshmark which has helped a lot. So that platform seems to be doing okay. We're still sending out offers twice a week, uh, which people on Poshmark expect to like and love and usually causes a lot of sales. In fact, I think 99% of our sales on Poshmark are from offers. So let's jump in. We're looking at Gap. It's one of my tried and true bread and butter brands. I love Gap jeans. This is a size 12 boot cut and they sold for $15 and remember on Poshmark the buyer pays shipping so if I had sold these on eBay that would be equivalent to about $23 which is good for Gap so Poshmark does their back end a little bit differently than eBay they actually show you your profit after your fees and any shipping discounts you offered, and then you can subtract your own cost of goods and come up with your total profit. So we made $11 total on these Gap jeans. Next up is a pair of Lee Slender Secret Capri jeans. Now I do like Lee for their plus size jeans, and these are capris, but they are a Slender Secret. And any jeans that talk about tucking, lifting, slimming, slender, women love. So this particular pair sold for $20 and our profit was 15. Then we have a pair of Levi's 525 Novu low boot cut jeans. Uh, these are both, some Levi's are gonna be straight up bread and butter 20 bucks. 
Some Levi's go up to 50 and 60, depending on the number after the name. You just have to kind of comp and learn the Levi's as you go. I grab them all, and some will sell, like I said, $20 for bread and butter prices, and some are worth a lot more. I just grab them all up whenever I find them, and that's how we've learned as we comp them and list them. The 525 low boot cut are definitely a bolo. These sold for $33 on Poshmark, which means had these sold on eBay and I had free shipping on them, they would have been more uh, around $40, $41 on eBay with the free shipping offered. So these are definitely something you want to keep your eyes out for, the Levi's 525. Our profit was $24.00. And 90 cents. Here we have some Big Star Buckle Orion Slim Boot Jeans. Guys, Big Star is definitely a bolo. Um, women's just regular buckle jeans anymore are kind of like really low end bread and butter. And the men's are still worth looking for. But these Big Stars are definitely. Definitely a bolo. I love big star jeans. These sold for $36 here on Poshmark, which would be about $44 on eBay, to put it in perspective. So $36 on Poshmark after fees and shipping discounts and cost of goods. We made $24.34 on these. Next up is a White House Black Market Tiger Print Dress. Now, I typically don't source dresses. They're not my thing. I'm not really a fan of photographing them, but this did come in a wholesale lot, so I figured I'd go ahead and list it, and it is unique. I mean, it's a tiger print. White House Black Market is a good, solid, solid bread and butter brand. So the dress sold for $18, uh, less fees and shipping, discounts, and cost of goods. Our profit was $13.40. Next up, we have Star's favorite brand of bolo jeans. These are silver. These are the Francis 18-inch. Dark wash. These are really nice-looking jeans. So these sold for $30, which would be about $38 on eBay, which is kind of low. Most of my silver jeans go between $40 to $50 on eBay with free shipping. Uh, $38 is typically going to be if they've been around for a little while and I've lowered the price a little bit. So I'm happy to take them on Poshmark. We paid $6.99 for these at the Goodwill. After the $6.99 cost of goods and fees and shipping discount, we still made $17 on these jeans. Then we have a Tommy Hilfiger Big Lion Spell Out Polo Shirt. Uh, plain Tommy Hilfiger polos are really not worth picking up, but anything unique like this, especially with the spell out, anything Hilfiger that's spelled out like this, you want to go ahead and pick up if you find it in the wild. This sold for $20 on the best offer, and our profit after all was said and done was $12.54. And then we have a Tommy Bahama Silk Hawaiian shirt. Um, Tommy Bahama is still okay. It used to be like a super duper bolo expensive sells for tons of money brand. Not so much anymore. Uh, but we will absolutely pick up any of the Hawaiian button front shirts. Anything that's 100% silk. Anything with cool graphics. Anything you need. Bigger sizes. Things like that. So this one sold for $21. After fees and cost of goods and everything. Our profit was $13. 34 and then last but not least is the one plush we did some Macari which was a Smurfette for $20 I think the fees on Macari brought this down to around 18 and she was like a $2 plush so we made about $12 on her give or take a little bit um, she is a Build-A-Bear and Build-A-Bear is a good brand of plush, especially these recognizable, well-known characters. You can see she had the Smurfs on her tag, and she had an outfit. And you guys are probably saying, but 
But star, you always say to strip your build of airs and sell everything separate. Well, the one exception is, is if they have an outfit that is clearly meant to be on them. This is a smart fat plush. She has a smart fat shirt on and a smart fat outfit. So this is one I would leave the outfit on and sell it all together. So keep your eyes out for build a bears in general, but especially build a bears that are more unique or recognizable characters or anything from pop culture, Star Wars, Smurfs, My Little Ponies, things like that. And then if they have on a plain outfit or they're just like a regular build a bear in an outfit, strip them down, sell everything separately, you'll make more money. But if they definitely have an outfit on that's meant to be a part of them, keep it on and sell them all together. So that was our one sale on Macari this month. Hopefully in a couple of months we'll be back to normal. <laughs> we'll be on a regular routine and, and getting everything moving again. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you have not already. And don't forget to watch my video on List Perfectly and learn how you can cross post more easily. And then you can try it out for 30% off. And join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link for that down below as well, or you can search for us on Facebook. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.